Hi everyone, it's Open House Thursday. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my love the coast. Hi, ladies. Hello, Hello Mariah. Good morning. Why get in the building? Yo, yo, yo. I know we have our gentleman here for banter, but I must say this before we talk to you. <laughs> uh, on Wednesday, I burnt my hair. Oh, oh with wow. candle. Wow. Oh, You're still using candle. Are this I was doing sexy candle oh. for my partner. You know this sweet In the bedroom. <laughs> Okay, scent, can send that candles then and all that. I, I, I was now bending down to yeah, charge my... Yeah, 60 years old. I had... Oh. So I thought it was my TV. Oh, <laughs> so I said, why is the TV making shh? Okay. And I said, shh! Ah! My head. Fire! Fire, fire, fire! Oh my God. My God. If you see the middle. Oh! oh. Well, did, beautiful did your partner head. appreciate the efforts? At least. Eh? Did your partner appreciate the efforts? He felt candle. very sorry for me. Oh. oh. <laughs> All the romance will just oh, blow up. Yeah. <laughs> there was even no romance in my body again. Oh, for you. And I know uh, Tokwa is also doing something. Yes. Um, um, I'm opening a new makeup studio tomorrow. Congratulations. Please, um, let's clap a big. Thank you. Is that yes. easy something? Yes, so um, it was a partnership and it's going to be at Super Saver store in Magodo. So the party is starting tomorrow. Wow. After the show, you can hook up with me there. Be my girls will be doing makeup. There'll be discounts and all that. The new Super Saver or the yes, old the one? Yes, the new Super Saver mm. in Magodo, just before Would you get into champagne? Magodo. Oh, fantastic. Would there be champagne? I'll arrange for you, YK, Any you know now. <laughs> Right. We have with us Femi Ogusawa also in the building. He's a convener of Save a Soul. Save a soul Welcome to the show. Saving humanity. Saving humanity. <laughs> for the love of humanity. You're trying so to save the world. You are here last year for the same yes, project. So every is good. It's good project. that every year you guys continue this project. Tell us again about it. Okay, yeah, so um, Save a Soul, we collect shoes from the from people for the less privileged, um, brand new shoes old shoes, gently worn shoes. Every year we collect over 10,000 shoes. Wow. It's the largest shoe drive in Africa. And um, this year, if you want to help us donate shoes, you know, you could just reach us on social media, save a soul, and we'll come and pick up the shoes. So it's very Is there a phone number we can reach you on? Oh, yes, please. Um, 0 so people can give for free. Yeah, for free. And you're giving it out to people out who to need. People. Where are your pickup points? So can you, will they call we'll, you and you go and pick up from call them? Call us and we'll come and pick up. Super yeah. easy, super convenient. So it's Safe S O S O L E on social media. Exactly. On Instagram. Yeah. If you could go there, you can get the details. Yep, all the details. Well done. Will be there. You're doing some so, good um, stuff. I know last time you guys went to Marocco. The Marocco. Marocco, sorry. Yeah. Marocco area. Where are you guys going to? So, so this year, you know, I got the vision. So all these people on the streets, all those hawkers, all these people that. That I, I personally think, you know, on, as much as it's not right, but I think the people that hawk on the streets are doing the hardest job in right. the world. Mm, because yeah. they see little margin and they put in so much work. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, so, and there's so many kids, and I think, you know, it's great that we are here. Right. And it's, we need to spread the love. Right. So, so we're going to people... the slums, everybody that needs shoes on the road, every That's less privileged time. person. But I you're working, your kind of shoes, shoes. Oh, your high shoes, I your high heel shoes. shoes. Yeah. What yeah. kind of shoes are you looking flat for? Shoes, right? oh. I no, gave, yeah, gave out a lot of flats. Yeah, we have flat shoes, but this year. This Who year now also, killed my dogs? Oh. <laughs> but this year we're doing something special too. Right. So we're doing the first ever celebrity shoe auction. So we're getting shoes from celebrities. Right. You know, so we've gotten shoes from Vector, Derele, Wizkid. We've gotten shoes from Ben Adon. So the aim is once we get all those shoes, we auction them. Okay. For the general public, and the money we get, we can now even buy more oh, sandals, oh, brand new sandals for okay. everyone. Oh, yes, yeah, so all the people out there, you know, all your celebrities, please tag them. Save us so support people, donate fantastic. shoes. Well done, Chef Femi. Good, Good job, job you're doing. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Having you. Having all right. You know, I love you, ladies. Obiaju, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Any, doing. any interesting things happening? Uh, I've been drinking Gary and granuts every night now because I'm tired and lazy to cook. Mm. So, but the kids are coming home Saturday or Sunday, so I, you, know, I you need to teach Waiki how to do this romantic thingy. Yes. Yeah, you so know, the <laughs> candlelight, the <laughs> red. So she her next time. She's very good in that kind of area. I will, I will. So please, I'm very you need good to learn too. it. Waiki, you don't... I just don't know what happened. Waiki, let the language. Go and learn French. You need to mellow. <laughs> Your mates are babysitting. They are changing diapers. <laughs> you are doing candlelit candle candle bedroom. My baby is not here now. Break. Let's what go on a break. Do? We'll be right back. You know, you're about to depart. Okay, you should respond. <laughs> right, we're going to start with the punch. Saraki considers bid for president. Says Nigerians have lost faith in Buhari. Picture here of a glimpse of the hell that Neymar goes through. Hmm. Uh, traders making use 
of the makeshift bridge to connect Kusele on the Apapa Oshili Expressway in Lagos is really dreadful. Ogun landlord kills himself, blames son in suicide note. Oyo may demolish Ayifela's radio station today. Generator fumes killed five, a uh, family of five uh, in rivers. 120 monarchs to attend Olubadon's 90th birthday. Oshun Adeleke Ogumbi's rifts unsettles PDP. Police arraign premium ties reporter coalition plans protest. Victor Moses quits Super Eagles. EFCC demanding minutes of Benue State Security Council meeting says autumn. So we have quite a few inter new human interests. Um, I'd like to start with the, the premium times mm -hmm. reporter. I know that one happened, mm -hmm. a lot, I think it was last weekend. And yes. um, there were actually three of them that were arrested. Two were released, but he's been detained. And I'm hearing that he's also being prosecuted secretly. Nobody uh, knows. Um, they, they, without a lawyer, they, he didn't have a, a lawyer present according to the punch um, and the human rights um, group that are that up and uh, Mumu don't do right. I've been yeah. complaining about it. But I don't know what he did. What story did he write? The same story of the siege now, the National Assembly. So the police report was what he wrote and other um, newspaper houses carried the same story. So I don't know why they're still They were asking for his source. The source where did he story. get this information from? And oh. he said as a journalist, he's not supposed to, he cannot release his source because he's protected by the um, the media act so that's that's the issue yeah and the, that so we're now trying... the police is accusing him of theft and um, um he was arrested by the sars special yeah. anti-robbery yes. yeah. i mean, he steal and yeah. violating anyway, sexual the good thing is that democracy. people are protesting and yes. hopefully we can get some responses mm. from the government let's go to the um Ogun landlord that killed himself who has that story ah, i have it too um, his name is um or his name was Maja Kolegbe. He left a note. They didn't see him on Tuesday. He, no, normally, he sits with the, the um, community. They, they all come to his house. They didn't see him Tuesday. So by Wednesday, they all got worried, knocked at his door. Nobody answered. So they broke the door open and found him hanging. Oh and he had God. left a suicide note saying, uh, it's because of you, to his son. Say, it is because of you I have killed myself. Um, you have given me too many problems. And then another landlord, another landlord who is his friend, said he had spent Monday night with him asking him for 50,000. And that because... Um, his son got into trouble. He didn't have 50,000 that they both ate pap together. Right. That he didn't have bread. So he was suggesting that his son got into trouble. trouble. And so now he, he has put him under wahala. Yes. He has to find money. So uh, for really, one million. Really, mm, one million naira. Really sad story. Mm. Moving on now to the nation. Lawmakers consider INEX 189.2 billionaire elections budget. MTN seals 200 billionaire deal with 12 lenders. AFLA in battle to save building from demolition. Saraki, I'm considering running for the president. And Moses quit Super Eagles. Who has that story? Okay, uh, Moses. Moses. Uh, yes, yeah. go ahead. So um, he's saying that he has. Um, Victor he's Moses. No longer, yes, he's no longer um, going to participate in the international football, that he wants to concentrate more on. The club. His club. Right. So he knows that there are a lot of Nigerians who are good, that it's now their turn to take over the Nigerian Eagle and do their best. So Can I just say something? He's done with them. I think it's a good thing. Right. It will now make us start to train our own. Look, within. Look because a, a Victor Moses plays for Chelsea, for instance. Mm -hmm. He goes to play against England. His teammates. <laughs> are there with him. He's not going to want to win his teammates now because they're going to yes, go and sit down right. in a team together. So he has seen that he has divided loyalty and he has done the honorable thing. He's stepped back. Now, we in the look, my nephew, he, he, he's 11. I asked him his favorite team. He said Chelsea or something or no, Baka or something. He doesn't even know him, but he doesn't know Rangers. He doesn't know stationary stores because we don't do anything don't about do it. That, so. Okay. Um, who has the major headline? Yeah, go ahead. Because um, the... S Speaker of the National Assembly. I'm going to actually take it in. Daily Sun. Oh, Can okay. we take it in? Oh, no Daily Sun. Let's move on to Daily Sun. Senators, Reps Grill, INEC Chairman, query varying figures <coughs> presented by the by Buhari and Yakubu. IBB tasks PDP on selection of presidential candidate. Ayogueze, ex Enugu Senator, defects to APC. Saraki, PDP Senators, dares APC and Oshamali. And 2019, I'm considering running for president, he says Saraki. So All right, I have go like ahead. four stories in the sun. Okay. So go ahead yeah. with, this, the, with, the, with the major headline. Major headline. Um, the National Assembly, the, this, uh, the president of the Senate, Saraki, and Speaker of National Assembly, Dogara, have said that they cannot reconvene to discuss INEC um, um, supplementary budget 
issues because they haven't, the INEC chairman hasn't even faced individual committees yet. So the committees were faced yesterday. The INEC um, boss, Professor Yakubu, had to defend the budget because one, there was a discrepancy between the figures. The figures that were submitted by INEC was different from the figures submitted by the president. Also, this, um, the prof prof Professor um, Yakubu mentioned that some of the things within the budget was already covered for in the original budget, that this is a supplementary budget. I'm still worried though. Why are we doing budget for elections next year now? Why are we so considering it came, now? Those figures came so late. Mm, totally, why, totally why couldn't late. they have done it when they were submitting the budget there last was, year? There was a budget for, 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 for elections, elections, but there was just an additional that they were asking for, and, and this was delaying um, all well, this passing. Uh, let's take one more story. I, I, well, there is no way to get PVCO. So why came all this one that they are? Why came they are taking pieces? Somebody still got theirs yesterday. Yeah, they extended it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some information. Don't worry. Let's take. Um, Saraki is saying that he's considering that people have lost hope. The people have lost hope in mm. our president, and he says well, that. Speaking um, to Bloomberg. Considering going for presidency. Considering going for presidency okay. next year. Like, we didn't know that. He said that the lessons that APC, um, PDP has learned their lessons from losing the election in 2015, and that APC apparently did not learn its lesson after winning the election in 2015. Can so I ask this setting the grounds. Can I ask this question? Because um, even Tambua has said the youth are, are saying yeah. he should run. Mm. So I want to ask. If they don't win the primaries, are they going to find another party? They will decamp again. <laughs> oh, really? What? That's, That's true, because IBB is also telling them to make sure that their primaries are free and fair. That's PDP. Mm. So hopefully we get one candidate from PDP. Um, Let's move on. The grass-hopping electorate. Uh, <laughs> <politicians. laughs> Let's move on to Vanguard. Oprah's EFCC, uh, six minutes of Benue security meetings. Interesting story. SARS, MBS rights groups, others hail Oshimbajo. Uh, let's see. Apapa gridlock, mayhem as presidential task force, Lasma abandoned road. APC PDP Baker, over alleged cloning of PVCs. Taraban 9, NYSC releases the names of the core members That's that drowned. Um, so, I think we did the last yep. Lasma. Okay. We have the major headline. No, no, not the major Go headline. Ahead. The nine uh, coppers, yes. their names have been released to be um, Uche Onye Nkadi from Delta State, Ije Chile from Delta State, Yuroro Bulo Blessing from Delta State, Solomon Miracle from Edo, Adam Zipora from Kaduna. The others are Ojimba Matilda Imo, Madweke Thelma Imo right. from Onodege Arinze from Enugu State. So, the young goes out. Heart yeah. goes out to the families. That's really, mean. really painful deaths. The major headline. So, EFCC is asking for Benue's security meeting, the minutes of their security meetings. Everything of course, Autumn was saying that that's none of your business. You are EFCC. These are security How does it concern you? But they are now responding, saying that from those meetings, 20-something billion naira was released. Whoa. They want to understand what the how money was used for, how it was spent. So they're trying to trace the money because they suspect some money laundering. So now, I, I know meetings. that everybody is they're investigating Autumn's security votes, and which is why EFCC is going into these details. And I am impressed with the, with the precision with which they are doing this. But can we do it for other people that did not decamp? Because every governor gets Thank security you. votes. Yes. So if you are facing Thank Governor you. Autumn, who decamps, I don't have any issue. It's okay. But face everybody. Let's know how it everybody is spending like, their So it won't look like witch hunting. hunting. Yeah. Uh, this uh, government seems like a witch hunting government. <laughs> okay, let's move to on. To me, oh, let's they, winch, they, let's they witch hunt. <laughs> I said they witch hunt. Let's move on to witch hunt. Telegraph. Everybody that decamps, kill all day, now all day. Let's move on to the oh, INEC, why we are spending six billion to feed policemen. Please tell me somebody read that story. Nobody read that. Nobody. <laughs> I may run against Buhari in 2019, says Saraki. MTN12 Bank sealed 200 billion loan agreement. Let's move on very Before we run off, though, right. um, the, 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 the greed lock in the Papa Oshodi Express has gotten worse. They say last month officials have deserted the place. Nima sent a message this morning that she's happy she wasn't on the show because it is mm. impossible. She wouldn't have been able to make it. What I saw last Sunday was terrible. The picture. So if it goes worse than that. In fact, there was a picture in one of the papers. That, I'm not sure if the front page is took it. Punch. I wish. Punch had inside, it was an insert inside. It was horrible, horrendous. People they, have businesses. Back and forth. People's life shuts down. Why? We it can't be rocket said, science said now. Security officials accident. have um, totally Mar abandoned Mar this. Yes. Please, there's a tweet for you. Morayo, leave YK alone. When you are 60, throw away your sexiness and go and take care <laughs> of your grandchildren. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> right. I have to, I have to read it to you. This is the time we take tweets. We take tweets <laughs> later on the show. I couldn't let Let's it go. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we have a gist about entitlement mentality in Nigeria. We all experience it. We'd like to hear your views on it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
<clears throat> Thanks for staying with us. So entitlement mentality has eaten deep into our social life. Every day we hear of different stories of how people beg in disguise for assistance. Either they tell you that their parents are sick or they have no food to eat. Recently, a TV producer, Tunde Aluku, said, once you have listened to someone's problem in Lagos, you are officially owing them money. So we ask, this entitlement mentality, is it just a Nigerian thing or is it general? Join us on the show is Kikelemo Abbas. She's also going to be our guest on this topic. How are you doing, Kike? I'm well. Good to Thank see you. you so much. You can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweet. We've all gone through this entitlement and mentality. I mean, I just got, I, I, I got a call. I was a message from somebody I haven't seen in like a gazillion years. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Hi, sis. You know, they say, Hi, sis, how you doing? How's the family? Hi, you know, I'm wondering, who are you again? You know, I'm like, sorry, I don't have this number, Steve. Could you tell me who this is? Oh, I am this person. I'm like, oh, Aburu, how you doing? Hi, mommy, how you doing? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to the point. I need Tiffy, and I'm wondering, how? excuse me? Like, how? Since for me, I've not seen you in years, and suddenly I'm just going to transfer money. To where? To the, those, those things. I mean, as much as I can understand, people are in need. But we need to really start thinking of how else to get to, to help people, but them not feeling like they are entitled <laughs> to your own money. But let me throw it back at you guys. You want to go I first? Would, yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead, okay. Okay. I would Jelly. equate it with um, poverty, poverty mentality, because in my, you know. Um, Experience, my little experience, I know I'm still very young <laughs> by the grace of God. I have met the rich and I have met the poor. And I know that the rich people do not have that entitlement mentality. They, they, no they, need, they, they, they have no need now. No, 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 yeah. So they believe I, I, I get what I work for. I put in so much and I'm expected to get results. But the poor people settle in that space of, okay, you are better than me because you had, probably you had something working for you that I don't have. You know, and you, you see them coming to you like I had somebody who came to my house to make my children's hair dreadlocks for the very first day he entered my sitting room. And I, they've been warning me, my father-in-law actually have been warning me, don't let workers enter your sitting room. But I, I felt mm, that is my house, I can do whatever I wanted. And then he got into my sitting room and the first thing he asked, uh, asked me to do for him was to buy him a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just coming to make my children say for the first time I should buy him because a he has phone. Seen all these beautiful, uh, uh, uh. So but, you have this kind but, of couch in your house. And he expected when I didn't I didn't get a phone call, I just ignored him. He called me several times, and see how far now? That eh? phone nunko. And I'm <laughs> that that wasn't all. I paid some bills for him. He said his mother was sick at the time. I gave him money. He said he was doing his naming ceremony. I gave him money. You know, so they just feel because you have it. That's so nice. I That's am expected true. to eat from right. it. Right. Yes, Kike, you're gonna say something. Yeah, I'm um, I agree with you, but I think we are all guilty of this by the angle of religion and culture. Um, we being guilty of this doesn't necessarily, ne doesn't necessarily mean that we are falling wrong, but because we are affected by this based on our mentality. For instance, when it comes to culture, if you have a rich person within the family, do you understand? It is expected that that rich Person, do you understand? Take should take me. care of the client, so to speak. Mm. Do you understand? And, and you should accept I, the responsibility. Yeah, you should accept. You, 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 should, you, you think, think they should, should? That person should accept that responsibility. You know, I, it's it's a yes and no for me. Reason being that um, it's it's our own cultural belief, Expectation. expectations, so to speak. Do you understand? And you find that that most families or mm. every one of us are guilty of this. Like I said earlier, do you understand? You don't expect that while you are the comfortable one in the family and you have someone who is related or connected to you by, family, by blood ties mm -hmm. or kinship mm -hmm. or whatever, and mm -hmm. you see the person going through some challenges and you okay. know help the person. However, um, um, in terms of religion, do you understand? As of today's date, religion is preaching or we preach um, compassion, ki kindness, um, um, giving back, I get, I get that and point. charity, I get that and all of that. Point. Uh, but yeah, it's, an obli it's an obligation. There okay, an I get that point, Kike. Yeah. But in the area of people you don't even know, like a security guard, mm. somebody that you just took out money from the ATM. Oh, to work and, for you, you for know, the first time. Or you are going on the road and the the, uh, the other last mile officials or the police, everybody sees you because there's a particular lady. 
and you, like, I have to come to Sakwe and work here on this one because <laughs> there's a lady that I started doing Tiger Nuts, right? I started doing Tiger Nuts at some point. So I see her sweeping. She's one of those um, cleaner Lagos ladies. So because I know she's there every day, I see her on my street. So once we have Tiger Nuts, I put it in the bag, I give it to give her. her. Yeah, huh. So just because I know I have it in the house. So I did this a few times and suddenly she now knew my house. She now sits in front of my door, my Waiting. gates. Waiting for me. But then she wanted to start a conversation. I'm not thinking, you gotta be kidding me. Because now, because I give you Tiger Nut, now yes, you now feel that we can now start. So, in that kind of situation, what, what, what would you do? But let me come to YK before I come to Chopper. Ah. <laughs> or oh, someone wants to go? <laughs> do you want to go? Yeah. Go. So, uh, here's my, my take on it is that we live in a society that does not understand the importance of value and that money is an exchange for adding oh, value. value. Exactly. Yeah. So you believe that because you greet me mm -hmm. and I'm dressed well, you've not added any value to value. me. I owe you ah. to take care of you and feed you. Mm. <laughs> so you ma. greeted me. Ma, ah, eka so, ma, eka so, ah, all, all is well. Mm. Ah, ma, you're looking very fine. So because you've greeted me mm -hmm. well, yes. I should buy you lunch. You have not offered any form of value. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a religious, compel, religious belief compelling us to give to the less privileged. Right, do you understand? Yes. And that is on ground. But it is not based on the person's request. It's based on the leading of the Holy Spirit within Bagan. you. That you have compassion on all what that is in need. Afford? Based on, I have, I, this person, I can see the person is in need. I support the person. So, but if you now say because you've greeted or because I, I'm dressed well today, you feel like I've, I've, I, you can see me driving a car, mm -hmm. or I tell you I'm opening a new studio. Ah. So you come and meet me. Oh, for the to be opening a new studio. But you just, you just came back from America. Buy lunch for me today. You, what did you bring for me? So you did not bring anything. Okay, just buy me lunch. <laughs> in the minimum. Do you understand? So um, my, my thought is that, Ishe, oh, she said, oh, see me, Lord, want me. Right. Did, you Did you work? You work me? What value have you added to demand right. that money from me? But well, see, it, it, it's, very, it's quite prevalent now with young people. Yeah. They just, once you try to, because they tell us, mentor people, why are you mentoring? Why are those around you? And you draw them close, but in their own definition of mentorship is, I need you money. Solve, I need my to problem. To solve my problem. Solve my problem. It has gone so bad that even secondary school children now beg. There was a day I went to pick up my kids. There was, there's a school just beside there as a secondary school. I parked and I was waiting for my children to come. When some boys were going home, they just saw me. Auntie, good afternoon. Auntie, good afternoon. Uh, Auntie, find me something. And I was like, the way I screamed. <laughs> why are you Sorry, screaming now? Why would I scream? Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. So, and I felt, has it gotten to that level that even children... It's on the receiving children... end of this thing, eh? <laughs> See, because it just sounds so funny. I'm sorry. It's okay. It just so, sounds so funny to me because me, I'm the last daughter. Okay. <laughs> so that means all the money of Nigeria is inside my account. <laughs> I'm on your view. Mm -hmm. ah. That means all the money of Lagos is in your and account. TVC. It's in my account. Lagos is just a support, supportive elaboration. Lagos, oh. Lagos in fact. That means that, in fact, God, no, I'm not there and I. You are yeah, the best friend. <laughs> so, I have no, no saving grace. <laughs> no, I met this lady, I, I thought she was, I really wanted to help her. I forgot, I didn't see her when I was leaving the... So I said, oh, send me your account number. I will transfer. And something happened, I forgot. I, I would have even done it. But I now saw a text from her saying, hmm... Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. Uh -uh. You know, imagine. I looked at what the text. Audacity. I looked at my life. Uh -uh. <laughs> I said, ah, that's who. That's you will explain that who. I didn't even that? answer. I just left Let's it at who. Imagine because that. I don't owe you. I wanted to give you. That's don't the point. me because exactly. I didn't. Just say, ah, if you had said, oh, please don't forget me, oh, I would right. have said, ah, don't worry. Yes, I'll do it. Which one is who? That, that, that who is heavy. Let me let Kike jump in here. I think with ev what everyone has said, it just shows that it's roots, it's, it's, it's deep in our mm. culture. Do you understand? It's yeah. root deep in, in our culture today because at the end of the day, it all happens even in organizations. Yes. You find out that you have, someone is being employed to do the job. Do you mm -hmm. understand? While you are trying to perfect your paperwork, you, you, the, the em, employee, so to speak, in that, organi in that organization believe that you have to tip he or she, mm. do you understand? To do their work. To do their work. Mm -hmm. So it falls back on every individual. It happened you when we went to Ijebu for the burial. Yeah. Your, your, um, My mother in law. Your mother in law's burial. Yeah. When we were in Jebu, what did we see? Why can um, Murayo? Young and old, like literally extremely old. 
were coming to the car and hustling and begging for money. Oh my God. Then the very young that were living, that they, they looked like they just left school, came to the car to beg for money. And my question was, why Kate, as usual, was trying to get something? I said, no, because you encourage this culture. These people just left school. Because we came for a party doesn't mean that we don't have bills and stuff to pay. The idea is you must give. And it's about finding that line. Like, when do we give? When do we stop giving? And when not, not being taken for granted. Mm. And because sometimes when you also give these people, the day the, you, you miss out that you don't get, it you looks as if it's a mistake that you did not give them today. You understand oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. It, yeah. it, 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 become, yeah, it becomes a mistake yeah. because... I like to give. Yeah. I, I don't mind giving. If I have... Same here. If I have... I cannot even have excess. Nobody has excess. <laughs> Nobody even does. Dangote does not have excess. Mm -hmm. So how... Who am I to have excess? But it, from the little I have, I like to give. But I just do not like the demand... Yes, for it. Don't don't demand. Let, see, me, why let, let me be let the me, one. Uh, let, me, why why uh, let me uh, let me wait. I, I will I, give you an example. Sorry. Okay. There's this beggar. When we just built shrine, I was a very handsome young boy. He didn't have a, an arm. So I used to give him, you know, some money every time I passed. In the end I said, you know, I don't like giving you money like this every day. Let me give you a job. So I employed him. He collected the first month's salary, but the second month he left. He won't he won't work. He said and then he didn't stay in that, at that junction. He moved to Ibadan. That uh, is begging that pays him, they not like, the salary. They know what they're doing. Value. So, YK, you know, you, see, you mentioned a point I didn't want to forget earlier when you said that. Uh, but, but, well, the point I was going to make was that there are some people that are spoilt or they have a budget like me. That we, we can't read these things. You like to give. I would like to give too, but sometimes I don't have the mentality of opening and giving out. So there are people that like expect that, that morale. I can't just see. Mm, I you honestly understand. didn't see. <laughs> you I honestly understand. don't understand. Because I see you, you're doing your job, I'm moving past. Mm. But some of you will see that person, you think, ah, this person, the, the shoes you wore yesterday was different from this one. And you want to, that's the kind of person you are because you're a giver. You mm. too are a giver. But me, it's not as if I do, I, 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 I'm intentionally doing it, but I honestly didn't notice. But then I start making it look as if Mariah is intentionally yes, avoiding so that right. That Mariah is, yeah. but unfortunately that's just not me. And I didn't see you. Yes. Yes. That's, that's yes. what we're saying. That's what we're saying. And it cuts across. Let's even look at relationships. You just start dating a guy and you expect the guy to carry buy your all phone. of your life pay your school fees. He will buy you a phone, buy he, you pays school fees. he will take care of your mother that is sick. And when he doesn't do that, you see him like, he's stingy. Oh, yeah, Julie, you he, just want another kind of warm. Yeah, I'm I'm telling telling you, as, a, as a today, we all, on, we all know that when it comes to relationship, it's an exchange. Right. It's an exchange for something. So come come on, on, somebody is taking break. Your, res your responsibility. No, have to go. No, 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 no. Most relationship today. I have to go on a break. Don't go there. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So don't forget, you can join the conversation at 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect, this hashtag here of you, TVC, so we can read your tweets. So before we went on the break, I know we've all established our experiences, shared our experiences on people coming to us. But now in the areas of relationship, because you used the word, I think was it sharing, or um, where we where you have two people coming together now. Who is responsible for who? Yes, you have this, how much of yourself <clears throat> Must you give the other? And how much of the other must you take on as your responsibility? Uh, you, 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 as the woman, you give the food and the other thing and other things. <laughs> and you, as the man, you share your salary with me. The other, the other guy <laughs> is not giving the other thing. I think at the end of the day, again, it still falls back to, back to culture in the sense that let me use an, uh, an Igbo man, for example. An Igbo man is marrying a young girl. It is expected that as you are marrying this girl, you are carrying the obligations or the responsibility of the whole family Who? because you just married you just married a you girl from the, the family. So not school you will pay the school the school fees of the siblings. You will pay for the house rent. You will do you all of them. this. You will train them and all of that. But at the end of the day, it's, it's as good as it's trade by butter. Mm. Do you understand? You, you are turning the men into ATM machines. Let me take this call from Coyote. Coyote, are you there? Yeah. Yes. Good morning. I don't see, I agree. Go ahead, please. Thanks for calling. Good morning. We can hear you. Go ahead. You're live. Morning. Okay. <clears throat> uh, my own contribution is that fine is good if you have and you are into relationship for you to share. But 
the other person should be see it as a right. He should only see that it's a privilege that way. I'm privileged to have this person. <laughs> and whichever way the person can contribute, the person should contribute. But let be sincere with each other. Those people that people are looking up to, how many of them are putting on fake life? You are mm. rich in the family. Maybe you are managing. You are only trying to survive to feed your wife and your children. Mm-hmm. And maybe when you are going in a family gathering, you now put on a face as if you have all the all. So definitely, those that even have that are looking too cheap, you'll be looking at it that, ah, what can we give from this person? Because it's what we put on. We all know what society is. And you will end up that some most people that even feel that they have all, right. you get close to them, right. see that they are even not in compared to you. Right. They are trying to make allies with them. Mm. It's what we see in our day to day life. So it's not if you are in Africa, it's right. our conception. Right. So, but Thank you very much, Kadi. Quick reply so, to Kadi. Kind of so because I dress well does not mean that I have. I am boxed up. Mm. So I might decide that I will not eat. I'll sacrifice eating for the next three days mm. so Just I can buy one good. shoe. Mm-hmm. Then you will now come and meet me and say, because I'm wearing a nice shoe, I have money. But I did not eat mm. the kind of food you eat. I had a staff that was complaining she was broke and she was drinking soft drink with every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'd rather save that money and buy fruit. I'm so yes, go so I, I wanted to say that... Um, I have a problem with whether it's in the east, in the west, in the north. I've seen it across. It's not particular to a, a certain region. tribe or right. region because the, the thing I know for the Igbos is that their bride price and the list they give for marriage is always, you know. But then... Did they do that for you? Uh-uh. Ah. But then... <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm um, Delta Igbo. Then um, the thing for me is... Because I get into a relationship with a guy doesn't mean that I will transfer every of my responsibilities to that guy. I see it as wickedness because who was taking care of you before you started that relationship? And the way the, some parents raised their children, like there was a time I, I had a friend who wanted, then I was in secondary school, we just finished secondary school, wanted to make her hair. I went to visit and then she asked her mother for money. The mother said no. Don't you have find somebody to give you money. Don't you have somebody that will give you money? <laughs> and I got upset. I was f- their household. Yeah. I took the matter on my head. I went to meet the mother. I said, Ma, if you don't give her money to make her hair, who do you yeah. expect? You said she should have a boyfriend now. Let me so it's a call. mentality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me take this call from Olumide. Olumide, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, please. Good Thanks for calling. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You're live. Go ahead, please. Oh, sorry. Hello? Yes. Yeah, thank you. you know, it's, um, my contribution is the poverty um, system is so much. When you look at the number of people who can really have, um, afford three square meals, if, I, you, if you look at the percentage of Nigerians that can really afford three square meals, it is so poor. The, the poverty aspect. Okay, thank you very much for raising that issue. I'm, I really question that comment because I think was this a senator we had on Monday that was talking about our problem really isn't poverty. It's really if you go to the villages, a woman living in a hut, she's con- she has her small eba she does. She 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 takes the leaves from the from the farm, makes her small effort. Her family is okay, content. and they're content. Yeah. The fact that you're driving a jeep, you're living in this doesn't concern her because she's comfortable in her own region. <laughs> so that contentment is what we lack, not so much of poverty, because regardless of what level you so are in, it's still I you think most people have eat. enough to eat. They don't have enough not to satisfy their greed. And it's, it's, it's all about Oliver Twist. We always mm. want more. So we have a case where you have someone who can eat rice without meat. But the meat that he does not have on that food is the biggest problem. And so they'll be begging to add meat on the food without being content with what they have. There's a very thin line between being stingy and being giving. And yeah. people always say, they, 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 I, I and fall generous. within, <laughs> and being generous. I fall within that very thin line. And I made that decision long ago that whatever I'm giving goes to church and somebody I see in abject need. Mm. 
because if you are in, if I can see the abject need that you are poor, like you have nothing. Once my staff started drinking uh, soft drink with our food, I stopped giving her money. I say, because if you can afford soft drink, you don't need me giving you money, I don't drink soft drink. So if you are in abject <laughs> poverty, <laughs> is it true that if you're in abject poverty, <laughs> somebody will step in <laughs> for you. I but add value. Let me take this call from, uh, I think it is, is it Adebayo? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Please go yeah. ahead, you're live. Thank you very much. Um, I'm very happy to be able to talk to you ladies this yes. morning. Yeah. I've always wanted to do all this work. Uh, yeah. Please, uh, quickly, you see, um, based on the topic you, got, you ladies are discussing this morning, it has uh, sometimes happens to me. I, I, I used to have a, a big brother. He <laughs> used to give me money. And, you know, sometimes I would not like to collect the money from him, but I would feel like if I don't collect the money from him, I, I, I would think maybe you feel somehow, you feel like maybe I'm feeling proud or I'm feeling... So it goes to the time that I have to start dodging him so that he will not give me money. Mm. Well, I think it all boils back on um, orientations. I think we need to be orientating ourselves and also upbringing. From the home, we need to teach our children, teach our siblings, our younger ones. Mm -hmm. Also, even in the church and the mosque, we need to, 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 to be addressing this issue because it's very, very important. It is one of those things that is really affecting our society. I would right. don't take good care of it now. It, it got no. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, Waike. I really like what he said mm. because I think that what is the solution to this problem? Yeah. We need a solution because when I was growing up, I don't think it was as bad as it is today. <laughs> um, in Nigeria, you are a 30-year-old. You are still living at home with your father and mother, especially if you are a woman. You tell your mother, oh, I want to go and get my own flat. Eh? Mm. Your own flat, what? No. So you still, my mother, when she met my father, could not believe that my father was still calling his mother mommy. Oh, my, my father was only 23. And she said, so when we now became old and we were calling her mommy, 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 she was like, can't you just say mom? <laughs> What's the difference? Why, why is mommy, mommy, What's mommy? The difference? You know? What's the difference? The, the, the difference is when you be still, still saying mommy. Okay. Yes, mommy. looks like, okay. So like if, you, if you grow up with that, hey, mommy, so you, I'm mommy, yeah. daddy. So yeah. you still expect, because right. as a mommy, daddy person, so you, you still mommy expect from mommy and daddy. Okay. But cool. if you say mom, yeah. Uh, mom, ah, I want to send you a yeah, car. Yeah, so it's, it sounds more mature than mm -hmm. for you to say that. Okay, let me Comfort take says that instead of teaching kids to fish, mm -hmm. skills and attitudes that will make them self-reliant, the mentality is that that of entitlement to be taken care of by your parents, even to adulthood. After graduation, you're entitled to a job oh my provided God. for by the government. So Thank you, Comfort, because I was going to make... Ah, I know you want to respond to that. Let, let me let you respond first. So like what YK said, you see someone that you think is in need and you employ the person and the person refuses to do the job rather than wants to, to be giving them money. Mm. I have been in the place where I have offered free training for many people and then offered employment after, but they don't want, they don't to, want work. to work. They want you to give them money and no. go. So generally overhauling the cultural I system. I going to add, that when I was when I was living with my brother, mm. I had responsibilities in the house. I was a teenager. The, I had the days I was doing my own grocery shopping it was just because I was working. Mm. I had my own bills because they saw the difference between when I came when I moved in with them and when they used to when they used to be with them alone. So the difference in the phone bills, I you paid it. it. Yeah. I was responsible. And then after when I now got better job, I started working three jobs. Mm. Three jobs. I go to my, I go to my office. So I go to my school in the morning. Evening, I go to the to the mall. I do paper delivery very early in the morning, 4:30 a.m. Saturday and Sunday, I'm working weekends at the mall again. Well, right. so, let me tell you what so, I do for my kids. That down made me responsible. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't spend money anyhow. So let me tell you what I do children. for my children. Yes. Let me tell you what I do for my children. They 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 massage me and I pay them. Yes. <laughs> so now they have their piggy banks and they have money. Exactly. When they want to buy certain things, I say you have money. Go to so your piggy bank. They, take your when they bought me a gift for my birthday and bought their father a gift for uh, his birthday, they paid for the gifts with their money. Exactly. So they know how to find. Sometimes I have right. to buy things yes. for you. Other times you have to work for it, Let me make money and buy things. Uh, Morning, are you there? Yes, I am. Good Go morning. ahead, please. Thanks for calling. I, um, I appreciate the point made now. And uh, it, it, bothers, it bothers me a lot when I see this sense of um, entitlement. But it started um, a while ago. Uh, it is not part of our culture at all. It started shortly after this democracy um, started in 99, when uh, politicians washed the entire um, Nigeria with a lot of money. So people started thinking that money became easy. It's a very recent culture. It is not 
It is not a culture of any tribe in Nigeria. What I know before now is um, what you said earlier, that we were asked to work for whatever we want to use or we were asked to earn whatever we wanted to take. But politicians have made it look that money can be very easy. <laughs> Unfortunately, religion is also not helping. Right. Mm. Religion tells you that um, your miracle mean. can come, uh, things mean. can happen if you just believe just in mean. Jesus Christ or you believe in some, some kind of deity, mm. you can make money easily. Right. So that sense of right. having of being entitled yes. is now a growing so culture among us. All right. And I, I don't know what the, the uh, Ministry of um, Ministry. National Orientation Agency is doing. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is Thank you very much, Wande. Yes, Kike. I think <laughs> each Nigerian thinks that Nigerians should uh, are benefiting from the corrupt um, mm. system. Mm. Hence the reason why they believe that they should get a cut from whatever national business cake. or national cake. Yes. Do you understand? <laughs> and as they're doing well, that means you have the yeah, of the national yeah, cake. Exactly. You want for the exactly. exactly. So, <laughs> and it falls, back, it falls back on the government. It falls back on us. Who are the government? We. Who are the society? We. And at the end of the day, the it's about mentality. how... how we are the children are being trained. Do you understand? Mm. For instance, for example, I, my I think the the objective of my own parents is for for him to send us to school or mm. them to send us to school. After graduating from school, in right. the last 14, 13 years, right. you know, we've not we've you not collected yourself, anything from right, them. Right. Rather, we've been the one giving them, even right. though it still falls back to culture. Because right. sometimes you find that our parents expect right. from their children because they trained you, to, they sent okay, you to let's school. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll take some tweets yeah. and calls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So we're going to take some tweets. YK, do you have any for us? Yes, Kuti Malik says, this entitlement mentality is not our culture. It's an I issue of moral decadence. Our morals over the years have eroded. No one owes any want anything except parents to school kids. After BSC, be an adult. <laughs> Ayo says, please expect more than enough from so-called world to do individuals in our society. Sorry, people expect more than enough from so-called world to do people in our society. And as such, the concept of exchanging money uh, exchanging money for value dries up. Okay. So but can, we, can we define that line between being greedy and being, being generous? Can we find a way? We don't want to come across as being a greedy person, but at the same time, you would like to be generous. You like to give. If every time, and I'm, I'm doing this because of YK, if every time you see YK, you expect a minimum of a thousand naira. Yeah, every a time person, you are a wicked case. person, yes. it's entitlement because you don't know what she's going through part yes, time. No. So yeah. if she gives you out of her own self, you should say, I want to do, 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 do more. Right. Am I worried? Now, if someone, if YK is not somebody like Morel that doesn't even pay attention <laughs> to what to the issues we where admire you. she doesn't she yes. just looks over your head we want to be like see no, no. issues so in so that in that situation what i did, what what I did was because bible the bible principles or our, our religion preaches generosity and i know that i have a church that has dedicated benevolence offering so every Sunday, I give to my benevolence unit in my church. Okay. I know that that money goes directly to those that right. have nothing. Okay. And okay. they go to church and get food. So Let if you meet me from the church and beg okay. me for money, I'll say, Let me take Samson's call, then I'll come okay. to you. Right. Morning, are you there, Samson? I'm here. I'm go here. ahead, you're yes. live. Yeah, good morning. My morning. Good morning, church buddy. And here's what I think. I think it's not about, I'm going to have to disagree with the address briefly, like, because, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. very clearly. Okay, because I don't believe it's poverty. I want to believe it's integrity. Okay. Because sometimes you just walk past the street and you see very little children. So it's actually, please, brother, I, give me plenty and I want to eat. And I'm like, don't you have parents? I wash car. Don't you have, can't you do something? Then let's bring it back to the issue of relationship. I've had it both ways. Like, you've been in a relationship and... Your partner has to be the one anymore, or you have to be the one anymore. I think I will agree with your guest before later. I don't think I remember any. Okay. It, hmm? The world has moved past the era of one person having to do this, this person has to do this. And I think it's just about okay. we being there right. for each other. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. 
Please so I wanted to tell Topway that while you are doing that, still remember that there are people around you who you know that have needs. Yeah. So of course, the scripture needs. has told yes. The scripture has Not told green. us that when they come, don't turn your face away from them. Need. So it's about discerning Not to know green. that this person actually needs this. Totally. I said those that have needs. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So it's for you to discern that this person actually needs this and I can afford okay. to give that when person. You give that person. Yes. The issue is they keep coming back. No, because not, there's something you, that there, there's an idea that says one good turn deserves another. Right. So when you give somebody unconsciously, we expect them to do the same for us. Do you understand? No, what no, she's no, saying coming back is that the person you give, you. maybe you gave somebody um, a bag of rice, a bag of, yes. a bag of rice. Mm -hmm. Then the person comes back the next day For and tomatoes. says, "I want to buy, I want to cook soup." Mm -hmm. And then the next, day, the person says, "My credit has finished." Yes. Oh, my so children want to. So the person that, keeps that, taking advantage of that. Is that is the real yes. problem. That's, that's the greed. At that point, you pause. Yeah, they don't know where to draw the line. But there's another side of giving where you give people that you know, like you've you've been a blessing by being my good friend. So I see something you need. And I, or I see something that you would like, and I just I give it to you. That's a different I thing. can see that, okay, maybe I, I'm seeing cake, and I feel, ah, Mariah would like this cake, let me just pick it for her. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's another category. Yeah. And, we, and we, people will feel like, oh, you're always buying for somebody that has, you're not buying for somebody that needs it. Okay. It's because person has added value to your yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. So like add point. value to people's so life, they will bless you. Let me take it to it. Olawenle says, people that beg use the biggest, latest phones and always have data, but no money. And then he says, the piggy bank thing is a good idea. Well done. Um, um, Uncle Ruko says, good point. You ask a girl out and immediately she agrees. She remember her birthday is in two days' time. <laughs> <laughs> Come and spend money. Oh, my Lord. So that's the okay. says, there comes a certain time in life that children have to depend on their parents. But later, we have to go out. Okay, so let's bring this conversation home. Let's mm -hmm. try, because we're going to round up very soon. Yes, we've all experienced, okay. we've all experienced uh, uh, entitlement mentality with people. How do we start changing that mentality? Especially with our kids, mm -hmm. feeling that because mommy has, I must mommy get, must I must get, I must get. All the time. I think it we? has to start from our politicians now. Because our politicians, no, I'm serious. <laughs> our politicians have made it seem as if giving because they have excess. Mm. So people now expect, you see a politician, you, you see a governor, you, you expect, you see a celebrity. I mean, a whiskey, for instance, you will come to shine. Everybody will be on it. Mm. The guy has his own problems. Mm. Exactly. Why are you all asking him for money? So he now feels that for, for him to be popular, for him to be liked, he, he has, has to, to give you. It's not. Look, in England, I spent three months in England. I didn't give anybody. The only people I had to give are Nigerians. No. <laughs> okay, let me take this one. Let me take it. 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 Let me take what I'm saying, you have to go grand. Yes. They just need to go Oh, sorry, we didn't get that. I'm sorry. sorry. Okay, um, so by, when, you, when you talk about value, people adding value to one's life before you can give, ordinarily, a security guard opening the door for you expects that I have added value to Back your down. life. So, in other words, he feels that you should give him something. Mm -hmm. so Imagine when your car is yeah. being paid for it. I decide it's being paid for the service is rendering, but he's expecting you that is entering through the door <laughs> to, to tip him. Because, you understand? because your hand is not paying you now. Exactly. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> or you, but I can tip. A security so man it, that smiles nicely and opens the door. Because I want to. And because like, you, you want know? to. Yes. Don't, don't beg. But there's force. a mentality that comes with when you... you most people don't John understand. From, from no, no, no. Then. I can open the door myself. Yeah, you but you save John but from problems. But because you're there and you're paid to open that door. Mm. Do you understand? So there, I there's a again. way. Yeah. There's a way people understand that word value. Mm. I'm adding value to your life. Yeah. An ordinary guy on the street doesn't understand it the way you are presenting it. He believes that because I am opening door for you, and see, before you go, you have to drop something yes, for me. So, so it boils down to our culture. It boils down to individuals, and it boils down to women. Raise your children the right all over again. Problem, no, yes. raise your children with skill. It, let's yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because our politicians they are stop sharing money like our that. Our children. Yes. Politicians stop sharing money. Yes. Families <laughs> start raising, raising children your with children. Understand work. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, and that's it. So let's yeah, the politicians. Let's start from Why there. Why because politicians? No, alone. teacher, don't teach me nonsense. <laughs> Look, who be who be government teacher? Culture and tradition. Follow our culture and tradition. Yeah. And let us do things right. If we do things right, it will trickle down, down to everybody. Right. Then people will stop expecting. Right. We all, no, me, I expect. <laughs> okay. If I see you, you have money, mm. I will just, ah, yeah, come now. Nah. Because I want you, to, even me. Yeah. So who am I to judge into my mind. whoever it, it is? When even I, I expect, I, if I, I see a rich politician it is because today, people, also, I'm going to expect something from yeah, me. I think the also we should yeah. um, try to be disappointed, disappointed <laughs> in that thing. That, <laughs> that is the lie because we are the same thing. I am the liar. I am. You are just a liar. I am disappointed in that thing. You see? So I'm the only one that has said the truth here. Okay, okay. We know we are very. We have to round up. Can we teach our children not to be lazy? Right. Mm. Understand that you have to walk before you eat. Even the scripture said so. And finally, so do contentment. not be content, yeah, content with what you have. Ah, with so what you have. Also, if you and can also it. families, and also families, especially parents, mm. should limit how they expose things to family members. Do you understand? Mm. Oh. Giving a family member something today. Do you understand? No. Giving a family member maybe a gift today. Automatically, they expect that oh, next week oh. you have to give them something. Yeah. So, so when you don't give giving. them, so yes, it's about managing people's and expectation. And that that let know. If you if you don't but manage it, if you don't take and teach them how to work, mm. if you don't take you anything to... from this show, yeah. please take contentment. Yeah, very key. No matter what you have, be content. Mm -hmm. It's so important. Stop Thank you, Gary. That's this, what we can take. When if we reach, shall come to the TV. Before you go, I was everybody will be. You didn't drop anything. <laughs> you have to see him. Because we know he's that, he, that he didn't that drop. That is all we can take on the show before we can just spread all our matters on the national television. Oh my God. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>